Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to have a special guest here in my studio. She is a dear friend from church and her name is Charlene. She, in a moment, will tell you what her actual age is, but she is in the more mature age group and she's had a few areas of concern and frustration. So we're going to address those. We're gonna have some fun playing with some makeup. I'm going to be using all drugstore and affordable makeup today. And I'm also going to be trying to work in a few products that she already owns. Now, in addition to just having some fun and doing this tutorial for you all, this is also doubling as a homework assignment for me for my online makeup academy school. So fingers crossed, I pass. But I hope that you enjoy this video. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial and meet Charlene. <laughs> we were just discussing Charlene's age. So she said, yes, please. I want to tell them how old I am so they don't think I'm looking really old for a 40-year-old. <laughs> so how old are you, Charlene? 71. Doesn't she look beautiful? She really does. This is her natural skin. We have nothing on her face. So we're gonna start with a little bit of moisturizer on her lips and her face. So I just have this Dr. Papa Original Balm for lips and skin. You can use this all over. But we're just gonna use a little bit of this to get your lips moistened up for later. So she brought a bunch of her, we're gonna try to use a lot of her things um, she loves the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Regenerating Cream. And Charlene has kind of normal to dry skin. You said it's gotten a yeah. little bit drier recent years. So yeah. we're going to address that. Now, while that sits, you've never used an eyeshadow primer, right? Okay, so we're gonna use the Milani eyeshadow mm -hmm. primer. This is going to help your eyeshadow. I know you said you feel like your eyeshadow kind of just disappears. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make Could sure have that something doesn't happen. To do with the application. <laughs> well, uh, it, the primer is what's gonna <laughs> keep it on. So okay. close your eye for me. And so all you need to do is apply this from the lash line and then we're gonna go all the way up to the brow. This is just a real techniques brush, but you can definitely finish this out with your finger. You don't have to have a brush for this part. We go with one more step. Now Charlene usually doesn't do sunscreen, so we're gonna see if we can make her a convert. <laughs> This is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. It has a tint, SPF 30, and this would be great because I know you don't wear makeup every day, but this would be great just to throw on and it's gonna make your skin just look more even and it's gonna hydrate it and protect it so that we don't get any more dark spots. Oh, it has color in it. It has Ooh. color. So it's really, it's a really nice one and it does work under foundation as well. Um, so, but for me, I have more combination skin, so it's a little too much hydration for a full day, but for you, I think this is gonna be perfect. And again, this is like really easy. You just slap it on your face run out the door, <laughs> you're gonna go walk your dog, <laughs> throw it on. <laughs> She's got a cute little dog. Very cute, very naughty. <laughs> very naughty. I think all puppies start out that way though, right? How's your skin feel? Does it feel moisturized? Everything feels really oh, okay. nice. Oh, good. Yay, we're yeah. off to a good start. Okay. Yeah. So for eyeshadow, this has been her eyeshadow um, quad, right? <laughs> yeah. We were, we were having some fun <laughs> talking about her routine. She said, what routine? So she... <laughs> She's obviously loved this nice kind of shimmery copper color and the gold color, but she's not used either of these. So I'm going to introduce you. We are going to use, I love that you like shimmer because some yeah, people are really afraid of shimmer. They're like, oh, oh nice. I'm over, I'm over 40. I can't have shimmer. I oh. fully believe in shimmer. It's like bling. Yeah, it is. 
All right, so we are going to use the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette. This is actually a great one because it even has some similar colors that she already loves in shimmers, but it has a lot of really good matte shades as well. So I'm gonna start off with kind of a fluffy brush. I'm using brushes from my makeup kit here, and I'm gonna go in with this kind of matte cream shade here. And what we're gonna do is just kind of brush this over the top part above the crease. And this is gonna help make your, um, the shadows we put on top of it blend a little easier. And then I'm gonna stick with that same brush and now we're gonna go into a little bit of Creator. So this is the first one we use. So we're gonna use this one right here. Another matte shade, it's not too dark. I'm gonna stay on that same brush. We're gonna try and keep it really nice and easy and simple. All we're gonna do is run a little bit of this through her crease. Now, Charlene is one of the fortunate ones that she does not have really hooded eyes. So it's really nice. She doesn't have to worry about kind of her eyeshadow getting covered. So that's why people compliment you on your eyeshadow because they can see it. Oh. can oh. see your sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, all oh. right, sure. <laughs> And then I'm going to add just a little bit of Explorer, which is kind of a dusty mauve color. I'm just going to add this to that shade. So I know we know Charlene loves purples and her lipstick. I know her favorite lipstick. We've She's been using it since. Wow. 50 for years. like 50 years isn't Since that amazing I was like 20 <laughs> I love yeah it. so we're, we're not going to try and break her out of her favorite lipstick color but i know what color that is so we're going to just kind of work that into the overall thought of our look today okay so all we're doing is just providing a little bit of dimension to your eyes And then I'm gonna go back with that cream shade and just dust kind of around the edge, make it nice and soft. This is the trick of the trade, helps with blending. Just go right back around the edge. There we go. These brushes. I'm very drawn to that. Yes, I was gonna say. Is that I'm okay very with you? Okay, drawn let's to do that. it. Okay, so she is drawn to this shade right here. And it's called Fighter. All right. Oh, so it looks kind of coppery or it something. Is. I like it's it. It's coppery. This will look beautiful with your brown eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm putting this over kind of the center part of the lid. I'm not taking it all the way in, and I'm also not taking it all the way to the outer corner, but kind of the middle, middle two thirds or so. We're gonna do a little bit of this one. So this is the matte brown, this is a matte plum, this is Voyager. So it's not too much different. This still has some brown in it, but just, I think purples and coppers look really pretty together. And Okay, and I'm gonna actually bring this across. This will make our our eyeliner blend in seamlessly. All right, we're going to go in with a little bit. I going to do a combination of these two light shimmer shades. So this is Dreamer and Originator. By applying these shimmers with a brush instead of a finger, it keeps it a little bit softer and um, it won't highlight um, texture as much, you know, on the lids or anything, but you can still get that effect of 
shimmer, which we love. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of liner now. So she has a favorite liner, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner, and it never fails you, right? Yeah, no, it that's stays really on, good. It really it's stays amazing. on well. And we have the shade. Oh, there it is, black brown. <laughs> I was trying to read the, the <laughs> French or whatever, <laughs> whatever color that is. So she can pretty much handle liner all the way across. Now I am going to just pull up her brow so I can get really close to the lash line. Work this into her lashes. <laughs> okay, now look up. I'm gonna run just a little bit of this along your lower lash line. We were talking about <laughs> lower lashes. I, I won't tell you what she admitted to doing no, you this can. morning. It's okay. She saw it's some okay. white eyelashes down here, and so look up. And so she decided to pluck them. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. I love it. I told her, don't pluck them. Just apply mascara. It'll be just fine. Yeah, of course, if they, you know, if the old wives' tale were true, where two would grow in its place, you know, they used to tell you that, that would be good. right? Wouldn't that be good? That would be good. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to apply to eyebrows or lashes. But. All right, and then I'm going to set that in place. Um, let's go in with a little bit of Explorer. So the same one we used kind of in the outer part of the crease. All right, so I'm gonna show Charlene my little trick of almond oil. So I just take um, just good old almond oil on a Q-tip to clean up under the eyes because we wanna make sure we don't have any eyeshadow down there before we put concealer on. And almond oil just adds a little extra hydration before we apply our concealer. Okay, so e.l.f. makes these mixers. This is yellow also yeah. LA girl um, and so what we're going to do and you don't need very much so I'm going to put just a little bit of this on my palette off to the side and if you know that you tend to if foundations tend to look pink on you yellow is the color to bring in so all we're going to do is mix this a little bit together and you can see how it changed the tone of that foundation. Wow. I just like to say Shirley's so great, isn't she? She is so great. We're all very blessed to have her and her <laughs> talent. I'm talking about you. You're talking about me? Yes, I, I, I threw in a little thing. Oh, while you were going. oh, so I get to check it out when I'm yeah. editing. Oh, okay. Well, I know Charlene <laughs> is always nice, so oh, no. <laughs> Yes, you are. You are. Charlene was a salon owner. She used to do nails. Yeah, a long time ago. That was awesome. See I find out all these fun facts about people that I didn't know. I'm just going to use this brush to kind of distribute it. And then we're going to use the sponge to work it in and give it a much more natural finish. So I've not worked with this foundation before, so. And the damp sponge, you can also use a little setting spray, which I have. Now the other request that Charlene had, aside from under eye help, is <laughs> She wanted dewy looking skin, so that is our yeah. goal for today. Let me get you all evened out. That foundation actually is pretty full coverage. And the key for just, um, you know, we can't like cover up our lines, but we can make them look softer with hydration and then pressing the foundation in. Okay, so for your under eyes, we're gonna start with a color corrector. This is a very inexpensive one from the drugstore, LA Girl. And this is the shade, what color is it? Peach Corrector, so GC994. So for dark under, for dark circles, you want to correct, to, so color correct, 
again, art class, right? So yeah, we're gonna, it looks black under there. I know. So if you just go right over it with concealer, it turns gray, right? And it just doesn't hide the shadow. So we want to correct it. So look up for me. And we're just putting a little thin layer. So you don't want to cake this on. So can you see this that one's... the hollow looks less deep? Does yes, less? on this one. Yeah. And that's the one we have, just the color corrector. So see the difference of just adding color corrector. We haven't even put any concealer on. So this is one of the better ones from the drugstore. It has some good anti-aging properties to it. So, um, and it's not overly drying. But again, thin, thin layers is the key. Um, what we're gonna do first is we are gonna use a little bit of the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray from Catrice. I'm actually going to spritz her sponge here first. We're going to do this. We'll do one more pass of this, but I'm going to just take this around the face. And this one's a good one because it doesn't have any alcohol in it. Um, she has this um, CoverGirl True Blend. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the Moda, Moda brush. You can get these at Walmart nice and soft and we're just going to do a tiny little bit of powder so just to kind of set everything in place and then i'm going to go ahead and add bronzer so she's um let's see this has been her soul cheek product this is physician's formula multicolored bronzer and I, since we're going for glowy skin, I'm going to show you this one. Have you ever used the, the butter bronzer? No. Does it oh, smell like smells the beach? like the beach. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. This is a beautiful, soft, it has a just a real soft glow. It doesn't have like glitter particles, but it's just really lovely. It is Physician's Formula too? Uh-huh. So you can get it at the drugstore you can. too? can. Yes, you can. And um, this is the shade Bronzer. They have now like five shades of this now. So we're going to just add a little bit of this. And I'm doing more of the tops of the cheeks. We're not going to do any harsh contouring, but you can add a little shape. I'll show you. We're going to add a little shape under the chin in a moment. Turn towards me. And... It's amazing what cheek color does. It just brings the whole look together. Gives you that nice, healthy glow. Ooh, love that color on you. Woo, that's really good. Be sure you write that down. I will, I will for sure. Okay, now this is the trick. You've said that you don't really like what's going on right here. Mm -hmm. So we just take a little bit of our bronzer and it creates a little bit of a shadow. So it makes that kind of recede just a little bit. And if you use a big brush, you don't have to worry about a stripe or anything. Mm -hmm. We're also going to take a little bit of it here along the jawline, okay? And this just helps disguise and kind of give you more of a straight line and like you have more of a definitive jaw. Yes, because my jawline's disappearing. <laughs> So we're going to fake it with like, makeup. Hello. <laughs> That's what we all do. That's what I do. Okay, turn towards me. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. So the key is you want to make sure you use a big brush. Don't go in with anything too dark. And typically, you don't want anything with shimmer. This one works because it's just a soft glow. But it's just going to add a very fine, just a hint of a shadow there. So this is a new, it's the Glowing and Multicolor Blush from Catrice. Catrice. It's called It's Wine O'Clock. <laughs> so 
go. There we go. Okay. And this just has a bunch of different colors and a little bit of glow. So, and I'm just going to very lightly, because I've not used this before, go in lightly here on the cheeks. Aw, yay. And just that little added kind of pink flesh, peachy pink, that's a nice color. That actually looks really good with your skin tone too. Okay, and then she did bring a highlighter. Woo, this is really pretty. This is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. And um, I'm just actually, I'll just wipe off that blush brush, use a little bit of this. Now this, I'm guessing, is quite pigmented. Okay, and we're just gonna brush a little bit of this on the tops of the cheeks, bridge of the nose. A little eyeshadow. Have you ever done that? Added eyeshadow with your brows. Have you ever done that? <laughs> Any powder? <laughs> if you were to guess, what do you think the no. answer would be? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> ding, that ding, would ding. be the answer. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to go into a little bit. I think heroin's going to be deep enough. We're just going to add a little tiny bit of powder right here on this brow. And what I'm going to do is just kind of brush this up and we're gonna just kind of make it look like we've got some hair strokes through there and then any other spots. Okay, I I'm going to, curl to let, my eyelashes. yeah, unless you want me to do it. No, I'll do no, it. <laughs> I'm sad yes. that I don't trust no, you. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm totally. I don't even know that. if I can do it. and spritz your face before we do lips. All right, so close your eyes. Ooh, doesn't that feel nice? Yeah. Right. This is her favorite, favorite shade of lipstick. It is by CoverGirl and it is bronze, bronze pink. Peach. Is that right? Bronze, bronze peach. peach. All right, so I am just, she normally does not use a lip liner, right? No, I don't anymore. There was a time when, for a way while, back in the day. way back when I <laughs> okay. used to do that once I'm gonna in a while. I'm going to try this. This is Ever from NYX. And so we're going to add just a little bit of lip liner. So, yeah. the Morphe M5110 and just the tiniest little powder. Look up. And we're just going to set the under eye just lightly. Beautiful. Beautiful. Woohoo. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Are you ready for your reveal? Yes. Are you ready? She's like, yes, yes I because know. I can't see. I can't that. see what I, I look like. Oh, oh. That's you, Charlene. That is you, Miss oh, Beautiful. Oh, I look younger. You do. You look 
young and and just polished and put together. But yes, yeah, so you have look, that nice yes, healthy it glow. Look, look, I look younger. I can't. You do. I just look younger. You do. Look beautiful. <sighs> Woohoo! But see again, I'm just working with what's already naturally there. <laughs> thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Mm. Thank you. Thanks for coming on here. This is a big joy to have you come. It was really good. I really loved fun. It. it was very Yay. fun. Yay. Very fun. Thank you for coming. Isn't she you're beautiful? Welcome. She's Bye. Beautiful. Bye guys. Thanks have for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>